Today we're going to continue our discussion of systems and inequalities. And we're going to do it by looking at this one first. What do you notice is different from what we've had before? That's that it's more than two. Right? Before we just talked about two systems, now we're looking at three. And the idea is we're going to do it the exact same. Okay? We're going to graph each line individually. So I'm going to graph this one. And I'm going to find out where do all of the shaded regions overlap. So I have a y-intercept of 5, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and just continue that pattern. And then likewise, you want to go the reverse direction as well. Is it a solid line or dotted line? This equal here tells you that it's going to be a solid line. Okay. Now where are we going to shade? This sign right here says that our y's are less than the line. So that means we need to shade below the line. There's several ways you can do this. One way is to just shade everything and see where they overlap. I'm going to show you another way after this, though. All right. Here we go. Now, let's look at the next one. This line is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to get it into slope-intercept form. The first thing we're going to do is add 6x to both sides. 8y is greater than 6x plus 24. Divide both sides by 8. I'm dividing by a positive, so I don't have to do anything with the sign. 6 over 8 reduces to 3 fourths plus 3. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, over four. Then I have to go down three over four. Down three over four. And this time it's going to be a dotted line. It's a greater than my y is my y's my solutions are bigger than the line, so I need to shade above. So you you, know, you just put your pencil on the line and go straight up, and that tells you where you need to shade. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shade in with this. Now, normally we'd be done. This would be the solution area. But I've got one more line. We'll do it in red. This line doesn't have a y. It just has an x. So I'm going to go to x equals negative 6. And it's just a vertical line going straight up and down, but it's dotted. And then less than. Well, which direction are the x's smaller than negative 6? Well, they're smaller this way. So if you want to, you can shade everything over here. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> so the question is, where are the solutions? The solutions are going to be where all of those colors overlap. So if you can't see it, we're going to look at different strategies. But it looks like where they all overlap to the left of the red line and below the green line, but above the blue line. It looks like that's where our solutions are, right there. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple other ways to kind of maybe help you visualize it here, okay, so that we don't have. Uh, quite as much of this. This is perfectly okay for you to graph each one and then very carefully find where they all uh, overlap. 
However, one solution, or one way, one method, is to say, okay, we were below the green line, so I would want everything below the green line. So you can picture it. I wanted everything above the blue line, so I drew arrows above the blue line. And then I wanted everything to the left of the red line. Can you see where all of the arrows are pointing? Well, you can see that the red and green are pointing in between here and here, and the red says it has to be there. So you could, again, just kind of see this and say, that's the spot right there. This is where the green lines point, this is where the blue lines point, this is where the red lines point. Okay. Another way to do it is kind of less, sh less shading than the first time, but a little bit more. We said, okay, here's all my green. And then we said blue had to be above the line. So I would just do anything above blue that's also shaded. By the that's already shaded, so I don't want to go all of this over here because that's not those aren't solutions to the green line. So I could just do this part, and then okay, now my red is to the right of that. So then I just want this part right here. So again, all three ways to the same solution set. This area in here, it's just up to you how you want to find it. The last thing we're going to work on is writing a system from a graph. So I have two systems here, or two lines. One's dotted, one's solid. Uh, and you can see where the solutions are. It's light here, it's light here, and the solutions are where it's darker or where they overlap. All right, this line was shaded above it, and this line shaded above it. Okay. So we need to write an inequality for each one. Inequalities because they're shading. So let's focus on this line right here. We'll call this line 1. What do I need to know about line, line 1? I need about the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is 5. And I need another slope. Slope looks like... I go down 1, 2, 3, 4... One, sorry, one, two, three over one, two, three, four. I went down three over four, so I have a negative three, four slope. So the inequality would be, or the equation would be y equals negative three fourths x plus five, but we don't have an equation, we have an inequality. Where am I shaded, above or below that line? And it's pretty simple. Just put your pencil on the line. Am I above it or am I below it? Obviously I'm above it, so it's greater than. Do I do it equal to or not? No, I don't because it's a dotted line. Let's come over here to line two. I need a y-intercept negative 4, and I need a slope. Looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. So I have a slope of 5. So the equation would be y equals 5x minus 4. But I don't want to use the equal sign. We've got to figure out where we're shading. Pick any point on this line, am I shaded above or below it? Above it, so it's also going to be greater. But it's a solid line, so it's greater than or equal to. So then the solutions are right here. Okay, here's the system. Do one more of those. Again, I have just two lines. Let's do line in one here. So 
So I have a slow or a y-intercept of zero and a slope of two over one, or just two. So if I try to graph it, and if I want to write the inequality, I have to figure out where the shading is. You can see the shading is below the line. So it's y less than or equal to, because it's solid, 2x plus 0. I don't need to write the plus 0. And I'll come here. This is line 2. It doesn't matter which one you call line 1 and line 2. Where does it start? It starts at 7. That's the B value. And the slope down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down 5 over 6 is what it appears to be. So that would be y and then something negative 5, 6, x plus 7. Well, where am I shaded? Pick anything on this, pick a dot on this line. Is it shaded above it or directly below it? Above, so it's greater, and it's solid, so it's equal to. And there's your answer. This is your system. If you had three lines, you would do the exact same thing. You would just do it for one more additional line. All right, now that you try, I've got three things for you. I want you to graph each one. You can try shading them all and seeing if you can figure out the solution area. Or you can try kind of just drawing the arrows of where you would shade, however you think you can do it. Give it a shot. Uh, pause the video. Give it a shot, and then we'll check our answers. All right. No matter where you shaded or how much you shaded, your final solution should be in this little triangle here. Okay. First, make sure your lines are correctly. Uh, if you got this right, great, you're done. Go to the summary questions, or just uh, fast forward to the summary questions. If not, listen and try to find your mistakes. The blue line is a slope of 5, went down 3 over 1, it's dotted. The green line is a solid line at 3. Less than means it's going down. And then finally the red line, you had to subtract 3x divide by 4. So here's this line. It's a greater than, so I had to shade up, but it's also dotted. Now if you would have done it piece by piece, like shaded everything, it would have looked more like this. You would have graphed the blue line and shaded everything over here. Then if you had shaded the green line, you would have gone down. So that would have been below the line. You can do everything below the line, or you can do below the green line that's also already shaded blue. That might help. And then you need to be above the red line. So above the red line, where the blue and green are shaded, is right there in that triangle. Again, that's sometimes harder to see, uh, the final answer. However, uh, sometimes it's hard for people to just visualize this. So you really have to find your own strategy. All right, now the summary question. The first one is just a make you think kind of question. What would the graph look like of a system, especially for inequalities, if there was no solution? What would that have to look like? Think about that and write about it. And then your second question is, and we're actually going to share these with a partner in class, and then share these out loud. I want you to take some time, and I want you to write out your step-by-step -step approach, how you would solve a system, with, or how you would graph, maybe, how you would graph a system of three inequalities. 
what would you do? And I, I want to see step one, step two. I want, I want to see exactly what you're thinking. This will help you when it comes time for the test.